Hello, YouTube. I made a video the other day. Uh, I know I talk about this all the time, but uh, the video was about, you know, why don't Christians ever have anything to say about environmental issues? And I just, you know, I got a real nice comment from a guy in Canada sounds like he's pretty close to, uh, you know, this tar sands bullshit, and uh, he gave me some info on that, and that's another thing I never hear anyone talking about is the tar sands, it's just, to me, it's, it's just fucking insanity, uh, but anyways, on the subject of Canada, you know, I live very near Detroit, and I guess y you don't really realize, I guess the best, the best, the next best thing to actually living in Canada is living near Canada. Uh, I get CBC on my basic cable, you know. Uh, not only do I get to watch Hockey Night in Canada, but I also get to watch The Nature of Things with David Suzuki. And the last one that I saw was in regards to this mountain pine beetle that has been existing for millennia, for thousands of years, with the lodgepole pine. And they didn't really make it clear until the end of the program that this thing will, will go after any type of pine tree. It doesn't care. It doesn't have to be a lodgepole pine. And anyways, you know, the climate has been holding this mountain pine beetle in check. And so now that we have global warming, even though it's just a couple of degrees, that's enough. This, this, this pine beetle is going nuts now in the Vancouver area, you know, destroying whole forests. And apparently the experts had, had believed that this thing, they said, okay, it's in Vancouver, but it'll never jump the Rockies and it won't go through central Canada. Well, it jumped the Rockies, and right now it's 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 in other areas of Canada. So, you know, the forest in Canada is one of the largest continuous forests left in the world. The Russians are cutting theirs down. We all know what's going on in South America. So get our fucking oxygen from these places. These places, you know, really have a lot to do with controlling the climate. You know, we get our oxygen from the ocean also, from uh, these little animals that live in the ocean. I'm not sure what they are. I don't know what the name is. Somebody that knows more about that kind of shit maybe can leave a comment. And let me know. It's 40% or something that comes from them also. But we're probably fucking up them as well. So, I started thinking, you know, I'm always bitching now. You never hear the Christians saying this. I have been adding in lately that, you know, I never hear the atheists talking about this either. There's a couple of them that, that kind of do... Uh, desert file he, he's you know he talks about global warming a lot but I started to think well I'm not giving the Christians a fair shake maybe it's just the idiots that are on YouTube that completely ignore this shit so I started to think about the idiots the Christians that uh, I know that I work with you know, I don't hang out with Christians, so I don't know that many. I don't go to church. 
Some of my relatives are, are Christians. We just had a big uh, family get together, but we don't we don't really talk about that stuff. We don't want to start an argument. So I started thinking about the idiots that I work with. And you know what? They're just like the Christians on YouTube. <laughs> just like them. All they give a fuck about is, you know, they're coming to get my guns and shit. It, uh, you know, I hate to sound like a conspiracy fool or, or sound like, you know, Rand Campbell when he says, oh, it's coming and you better be ready for it. I hate to sound like that, but, you know, in generations to come, we're going to have some trouble with environmental issues, with with forestry, and, you know, just having some fucking clean air to breathe. I guess that's it. I, uh, I guess that's my little niche, you know, I, I'll keep bitching about this cop there, doing about 80. I guess I'll keep bitching about this kind of shit. I don't see him making any moves. And I'll let everyone else uh, harp on the inconsistencies of the Bible. I happen to think whenever we talk about that, uh, we're like the South in the Civil War. One of the reasons the South lost the Civil War is the whole fucking war was in their territory. They, they never came north. You can't win a war like that. And when you're talking about the Bible, that's, that's the Christian's territory right there. That's it. I've been rambling on enough on the sign-out.